Hey everyone, I want to do something different for the months of November, December, and at least January because that's what I have available to use for right now. So before the holidays start, every season I have done this, but I've never really shared that I do this. One of the ways that I stay caught up through the holiday season and when you've got high schoolers, you're looking at homeschooling high schoolers, you've got like midterms, or even if you're not, you're doing public school. They've got midterms, you've got all the holiday stuff coming up like wrapping presents, cooking food, keeping the house clean, and if you're working, you know, working from home, working not from home, the holidays are just so super busy. So one of the things I do before the holiday season even starts is I make a meal plan for the months of November, December, and January. I do January because that way whenever school starts back in January, I don't have to worry about the meal plan. I can just immediately jump back in and go right back on track to where we are and have all that planned out. And then a couple weeks into January when everybody's gotten a little more adjusted back to our normal schedule, then I can work on February because February is super busy for us. We have one anniversary and two birthdays. So February is super busy. But anyways, today I'm going to show you, so I'm going to try to film and then also have like a sp either split screen or just like show you and then cut in some talking that way it's not like just me or just the uh, screen. Are we still recording? Okay. That's weird. So that was a weird glitch. You need help with math? Um, no ma'am. My combo pre started. Okay, bring it here. Alright, so we are going to start with November while I'm also... Typing in passwords for Chromebooks. Um, unfortunately, right now, we haven't found a good system to ugh, charge the kids Chromebooks overnight. So they can only charge them during the day right now. Still trying to figure that out. Wanted to get the kids' rooms done first, which I'm finishing up editing those videos right now as well. I was doing screen recording. And sorry, my voice is a little crackly. Still, I'm still somewhat recovering over a major sinus allergy attack that we had. But we now are on screen, of course, so yay! So let's talk through this. Let me get her password in as well. Hi, editing me here. Yes, while, I, while I'm typing in her password, yes, I did actually hit screen record, but because I had Premiere Pro uploading a, or processing a video in the background, it actually did not screen record a single bit of that meal calendar. So I went back and I... Uh, just clipped images from the November meal calendar and then for December and January I'll actually have where you actually see me clicking and describing each thing so sorry that I don't have that this time um, I and I really don't have time to go back and film the entire uh, video again it's like 38 minutes raw footage right now so I don't have time to do that but I do have the screen shares that I'm going to show over top of it now I'm going to finish typing this password and let's get back to the November meal calendar also a quick plug I definitely prefer the Chromebooks for digital schooling. Even though we're only have one child using Monarch this year, still prefer touch screen. I do prefer the touch screen ones for ones that have like digital art, like the Night Zookeeper program and all that. So, all right, so let's go through this list. I'm gonna cut out some extra stuff at the top because I share files and stuff on my computer for like extra things like but we're gonna focus on this so this is what I do I have Friday to Friday that sounds crazy you see this Friday grayed out right here and then you see uh, dinner dessert uh, at the top so you have breakfast lunch dinner dessert you have the date on top I go Friday to Friday I go Friday to Friday because that's our pay period is Matt gets paid on Fridays and so it's just easier and it's easier for me to do all the shopping on Friday than to try to take off in the middle of the week. Some people prefer middle of the week shopping. If you shop in the middle of the week, start the day you go shopping and then go to the end of the week. And it makes it a lot easier to keep track of what you purchased last, what you need to purchase. And it just keeps you going on the mindset of how to plan each meal out. So I blank out breakfast and lunch for Friday because... If you look down here at the bottom, Friday from the last week is going to be down here. So I'm going to do just screen for just a minute. I'm going to try to also hold the camera because I don't have a really good tripod set up for my desk because I have dual monitors. Um, so we have breakfast here, lunch here, dinner here, dessert here. The reason why I split breakfast right here is uh, Matt takes breakfast to work and lunch to work because he gets up, he leaves for work at like 6.30 and then he works until they're done. <laughs> he works construction, so he works until they're done. 
but he eats breakfast and lunch at work. So for him, I need to keep in mind breakfast that, and he has no access to microwave, refrigerator, any kind of food storage, food prep. So I have to keep food in mind that can number one, be stable in a lunch box with either a cold pack or a thermos all day. Number two, I need to keep portable food in mind that can also fill him up. My first goal is usually protein. Then I focus more on to like stuff to keep or healthy and then stuff to keep him full all day. So that's where we are. Saturday and Sunday, like, so you see right here with Saturday, it goes Matt and girls. That's because, and I pick girls just because we're all girls at home here. So I have Saturday and Sunday shared across here. And if you come down here, I'll just go ahead and show you Thursday. Um, that means that everybody is having whatever it is for that meal. Also, you see on this sidebar over here, you see some colors and then text over here. So what that means is like on here, it says Marvel Sunday. So what our church does, it's super cool. So we don't have like revivals in the middle of the year. And on during the month of November, we have no church on Wednesday nights. I love that because it used to be so much stress of like a church on a Wednesday night and then immediately Thanksgiving the next day in November. And I it used to be such a stressful time for me. But in November, all of our church services are on Mondays. So we go on Monday night and then usually through the month of November, I let the kids sleep in on Tuesdays because it's usually a longer service than our normal midweek service. But it's right. And it's kind of like church together, like, you know, all day Sunday and then Monday night. It just, it, it just, I like it a lot better through the month of November to have it that way. And it also has a lot for more family time for us. So we love it. That was something I needed to put was that I was going to need meals that need to be ready because we have to be at the church by like, 5 36 o'clock on Monday, Monday nights which with Matt getting off later in the day sometimes I would need um, more time right there for meal prep so I need to know I need to have meals that were filling to keep everybody full until the end of church and I needed meals that can be either made quickly or could like not meals that would be ready on time and made quickly so that's why I have that color for Marvel Sundays any meal that you see purple from here on out that means teen meal so this year i have two high schoolers who are taking cooking as an elective our umbrella school likes to push more life skills classes because so many kids today are graduating from homeschool public school private school christian school whatever and don't know how to take care of themselves so a lot more places public school private school homeschool are trying to push Teens need to learn how to take care of themselves. So one of the things that they pushed was they wanted each of the teens to do a life skills class. So this year they're doing cooking. Next year we're going to do a different life skills class. And then next year also I'll have another high schooler, um, three high schoolers. And she's also going to be doing uh, food prep. But I think I'll probably change it to pink for her. But anyways, the two that are uh, doing it this year, they both like purple. So I did purple to represent. Now, normally my teens cook on Monday night. So they can just do that first night of the week. And it works out really great because it gives me time to do video editing if I don't get time to do it during the day. The reason why I'll do that as well is because like my office is right off my kitchen. So it's really easy to supervise from there. But anyways, so purple is going to represent the teens. And then like holidays, I'll change for different colors. Um, for Veterans Day, I have it red. Later on, you'll see down here, Thanksgiving is also red. And then I have green for a special Christmas choir rehearsal down here. But we'll get to all that in a minute. So let's get to the actual November meal plan. And I'll try to not take too super long because it took 20 minutes to go through one week last time. But yeah, so just summary really quick before we kick off. Breakfast, there's some for Matt, some for the girls, some for all of us. Lunch, some for Matt, some for the girls, all of us. We almost always usually eat dinner together. So dinners are for everybody. And then desserts, you see Monday through third or Monday, yeah, Monday through Thursday is grayed out. I try not to do desserts midweek because we're trying to lose weight. So we try not to do desserts midweek, but we will occasionally have like some stuff that we do on uh, weekends to kind of like kick that sweet craving back to where it needs to be. So again, so my calendar goes Friday to Friday, or th the numbers go Friday to Thursday, and then Friday to Thursday, all the way through. So let me get through 
the normal weeks for November and then we'll talk about the weeks for Thanksgiving because those are weird. Every Friday we do a pizza Friday. We get a pizza. Um, we have switched to doing salads instead of a lot of desserts for Fridays because it's healthier. It gives more vegetables to everybody and we buy a little less pizza that way but we almost we also don't. I'll explain that in a minute. But we're going to be doing pizzas and salads every Friday in November. Saturday mornings I have biscuits. Honestly that's a filler space. Biscuits are something I can buy at Sam's. Frozen can pop them in our air fryer for 12 minutes they're so good can buy shelf stable stuff to put on biscuits one of mine eats peanut butter and jelly in her biscuit almost every single time or i can pack up pick up a pack of deli meat to do the biscuits saturday leftovers i buy enough pizza through the months of november december and january especially so that um we'll have like one or two pizzas on friday night and then the other two pizzas will already be baked but can be reheated in the air fryer or I'll just save them frozen, whatever we feel like for Friday night. And then we have leftover pizza on Saturday, which means everybody can just eat lunch whenever they want. Cause Saturday is the one day that we all get to relax or we're going out for shopping or taking care of stuff. So having leftover pizza Saturdays has been a huge help for us. Saturday nights, dinners are stuff that Matt and I can cook together because it's the only guaranteed night that we both can cook together. So I picked barbecue for this week cause it's one of Matt's favorites. Sunday morning, I take breakfast to my, we call it our uh, connect class. It means our Sunday school class. Um, I help in an ASL Sunday school class. So uh, I have started because all my kids are also in there. It's a family Sunday school class. So, like the families come in. Um, they don't, I mean like not all families have to, but ours is a family Sunday school class. So because all my kids are with us, um, when we go to Sunday school, I went ahead and we just started bringing our food too. So we're going to do French toast and bacon because French toast is something I can do in a nine by 13, bake it really quick, put some bacon on the stove while it's doing that. Everybody can shower and get ready and all that. Beef and potato is a crock pot meal. The recipe will be up here in the cards. Anytime that there is a recipe, I will try to link it from now on when we're doing these videos. The recipes will be in the description below. Um, dinner left, it will be leftover Sunday night. Whenever we do a big crock pot meal like the beef and potato, leftover or dinner the next or dinner that Sunday night will be leftovers. The only thing I'll need to remember is to buy sauces. I have not made grocery lists with this because I'm going to be making them as I go each week because I may need more one week and not the next. Um, I've thought about doing that. I know some people do that on Etsy, like they actually sell like the PDFs to them. I don't know. I don't really want to get back into Etsy because it's just been a nightmare for some people. But I have thought about doing like um, membership videos, and we have memberships as low as like 99 cents a month, and then making membership videos of the shopping list to go with each meal calendar. Let me know if you what you think about that idea. Anyways, I need to hurry because I'm already taking longer than I really want to. These videos are probably be a little bit longer, but I'm hoping it also helps explain. So like for new, cause again, my, one of my goals is for new people who've never done this before, maybe you'll get something out of it that you've never seen before or that you don't know how to do. And I, that's one of my goals is just try to help you with that. So that's the reason why I want to, why I'm okay taking a little bit more time to explain stuff, but let's go through. All right. Monday through Thursday is basically going to be the same thing every single week except for like a couple of flavor changes is it. All right, so Monday is, Monday and Wednesday you see snack pack. They're little snack packs I buy it. Oh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. They're little snack packs I get in Aldi's. They come in a three pack. Um, you'll see those in the grocery hauls, but those, there's three of them per pack. So that'll be Matt's breakfast Monday, Wednesday and Friday. For Tuesday, he's gonna take instant oatmeal in a bowl or one of those Quaker oatmeal ones, but um, he takes instant oatmeal. Um, Monday at home for us, cranberry oatmeal 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 <laughs> oatmeal i forgot i had the uh cat or the yeah caps on cranberry oatmeal so what my goal is is through the month of november i will do be making made from scratch oatmeal because one of mine prefers made from scratch over the instant um she'll eat the instant but she prefers the made from scratch so every monday i'm going to try to make like one pot of um instant or yeah one pot of homemade oatmeal the cranberry oatmeal is super easy i don't know if i've done a recipe on it if i have it'll be up here if not i'll do it next time i make it which will be uh november 4th 5th 6th 7th so sometime after november 7th i'll tell you i'll show you how i'd make cranberry oatmeal it's really good it's not super bitter tuesday we'll be having muffins which will probably be something that we pull out of our freezer stock up in the freezer wednesday we'll do biscuits left over from saturday saturday where we could do the ones from um sam's Thursday has pumpkin bread. One of mine wants to bake pumpkin bread each week leading up to Thanksgiving. It's fine. Um, 
she's pretty independent doing that and sometimes likes to do it on her own sometimes likes to help if she does great if not fine um so she'll be, we'll be doing pumpkin bread at least once a week leading up to thanksgiving and then friday it is instant oatmeal because it's super easy for us to just run the water through the keurig let everybody make their own oatmeal and get out the door lunches again these are going to be the same i'll just on the rest of the weeks just show you what changed um Mondays, beef jerky, cheese, and vegetables. We buy beef jerky sticks at Sam's. Cheese, I buy in the cubes. It's a little bit more to buy it that way, but it's less stress for me through the holidays to just buy bags of cube cheese to put in everybody's lunches for the rest of the week. And then veg, we do carrot sticks and uh, ranch dressing and dressing bottle cups. And we put those in like bento box containers from Aldi's. At home, we'll be doing cheese roll-ups, which is tortillas, cheese, and whatever else we want to put on it. Tuesday, it says everybody ramen. Matt's will be a portable ramen. Ours will be making ramen at home on the stove. Wednesday, sandwiches will be whatever sandwich stuff we pull out. If we have a lower budget that week, means we'll be doing peanut butter and jelly. But it's fine. Thursday, again, beef, turkey, cheese, and veg. But um, it's really hard to say, even though... We send like ramen and oatmeal and stuff like that for my oh i need to actually change those um yeah i'll probably change those because i actually cannot send uh ramen and um sandwiches or ramen and oatmeal cannot go the same time because the only thermos that fits in his lunch box uh is not enough water because those ramen cups take a lot more water than you would think they would so i actually have to send those on different nights i think what i was trying to do was break up to where we weren't having ramen and then chicken alfredo but it'll be fine he'll he won't complain it's fine and kids usually don't complain i was just trying to break it up but i can't because those have to go like that and i don't want to do snack packs two days in a row he'll again he won't complain it's fine but i don't want to i don't want to do that so on Friday when it says leftovers, the kids and I will just pull whatever leftovers are out in the fridge. If we don't have leftovers, the kids and I will pick up something fairly inexpensive from either the Aldi's uh, to-go salad section or the Walmart um, quick grab-and-go foods there. So dinners are the one thing that's changing every single night. So um, we went through Friday through Sunday. Monday, um, I'm making meat pies and doing carrots on the side. Tuesday, I'm going to do hash brown casserole and salad. Wednesday, the teens are making chicken alfredo. I'll probably just let them not make it from scratch and just let them do like the canned alfredo. But it's also still a cooking process of teaching them how to grill the chicken on the, um, the Ninja Foodie Grill and all that. And then Thursday is meatball subs. You can buy packs of meatballs for like 15 bucks at Sam's and even for our family of six. Sometimes those subs can, or those meatballs can last two to three meals. And then we just buy the sub rolls to go with it. And with it being November, I don't have to worry about bread lasting all week and it, or not lasting all week and molding. So that works out really well. All right, let's go through the next week of November, the 11th through the 17th. Again, pizza and salad, biscuits on Saturday morning, uh, Saturday lunch is leftovers. Dinner, it says ramen and meatballs. So what we do is we make like, um, almost like a stir fry noodle, but we use the ramen to do it. And we add sesame oil to it and it's really really good and then we air fry meatballs to go with it for like 15 minutes it's just kind of like a fun meal we found and then we just add whatever steamed vegetable we feel like asian broccoli whatever steamed vegetable to go with it sunday it says breakfast quiche so what i did was usually when i plan these out i also have my um my budget side by side or budget on one screen the calendar on the other if you don't have that just side by side it on the same screen um and then that was the week that I had a little more flex in my budget because the breakfast quiches are not super expensive, but still a little bit more on my budget. So I went ahead and put those there because that was the week I had the most flex in my budget to purchase them. So I get the breakfast quiches from um, Sam's Club. Sunday lunch, we're having chili. And then because it makes a big crock pot, we'll have leftovers. The only thing that's changing on the breakfast for week two is instead of the cranberry, we're going to do pumpkin pie oatmeal, which basically means I'll add a can of pumpkin and then the pumpkin pie spice and maybe let them add a little bit of Cool Whip on top of it. We'll see. Um, that's the only one that's changing. And uh, the lunches will be the exact same. So let's skip to the dinners. Um, I will be doing grilled chicken and broccoli for Marvelous Monday. Because again, I have a little bit more flex in my budget that week. And sometimes it's nice to just throw some meat on the grill and let it grill. And you go back to just getting ready for church. Um, Tuesday, we're doing fish tacos. What we usually do with that is we get the fish, uh, or the fish fillets, the breaded fish fillets from all these and then we put them on the street taco style uh tortilla chips and then we get a bag or two tortillas and then we get a bag of the southwest salad kit from either all these or sam's 
and that's it because the Southwest salad already has the dressing, the cheese, the lettuce, everything. So the fish, the salad kit on the tortilla and you're done. Super easy meal, something a little bit different. Wednesday, the teens want to do grilled cheese and tomato soup. And then Thursday, um, Matt and I will be making biscuits and gravy. It's one of his favorite meals in the cooler months. So let's skip to the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, y'all are going to go ahead and see this before I get here. It says Thanksgiving spread. What that means is Matt and I have a separate dock where... We both look at before Thanksgiving comes and we just, we make out a plan of what we want to have at home. Even if we go to other people's houses to eat, because we're going to be home all weekend when we're not at people, like even if we go to somebody's house for Thanksgiving on Thursday, we still make a Thanksgiving dinner for our family on Friday and then we make it last for three days so that we have like one meal that we make together and then everybody can just heat up food as they go. So, like, it's always just kind of been our thing. The only time we don't do that is if we go to two people's houses for Thanksgiving. And there's times we've done that. But that's kind of our goals. Even if we go to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, we're still going to make, like, a, thanks a smaller-ish Thanksgiving dinner at home. So, yes, I do have a list somewhere of all of our Thanksgiving food, but the reason why that's separate is that we also have time sheets. There is a specific time for every single item on our Thanksgiving meal, when it needs to be started, what dish it's gonna be cooked in, and then the night before, we literally will take our dining room table, completely clear it off, and lay out and say, okay, we only have two eight inch pans, don't plan to do more than two eight inch pans worth of food. Um, then we have a nine by 13 for this, and then we'll put the dry ingredients in the dishes to remind ourselves, and then we'll sketch it out. But we have all of that in a different spreadsheet. Um, Matt is amazing when it comes to like cooking, spreadsheet times, and all that. So I leave that 100% up to him. So for Thanksgiving week, things are changing a little bit other than just like that. So let's go through it slowly. We are still going to do pizza on the Friday before. And then I also have cookies on here because it's Thanksgiving week. I just wanted to get a dessert. It's fine. Um, so also you'll see a new one on, it says nursery. I serve nursery at my church on Sunday nights, like once a month. Um, but if it's a Sunday night, that means that I need something that's going to be super easy for everybody afterwards because I'm going to be exhausted after a super busy day and having nursery that night. We have sweet kids. I love our kids. We don't have any that are like complete terrors. So I love serving in nursery, but also again, it's just like the tired afterwards. So I usually try to make nursery nights super easy food. So what I did was we're going to do beef and potato again. And also another thing I didn't mention, sorry, I scrolled really fast. You see most of these, except for the chicken alfredo and grilled chicken, are not chicken dishes. I try to do non-poultry dishes leading up to Thanksgiving. Everything right here leading up to Thanksgiving, no poultry dishes so that everybody doesn't get burnt out. So let's go through Friday is pizza and salad with cookies. Saturday it says baking day. This is when the kids are going to make like um, more pumpkin breads, um, muffins leading up to Christmas and things like that. Um, easy make ahead breakfast style muffins is what they're going to be doing and then the leftover pizza because as they're baking won't have to worry about food and everybody can just eat pizza the kids will eat it cold matt and i put ours in the air fryer and dinner for that night it says asian chicken i'm just going to buy a big bag of the asian chicken from sam's um we're going to air fry it and then we'll either do uh rice in the instant pot or um we'll do ramen or some kind of side to go with it and then the steamed vegetables from aldi's are so good the asian vegetable steamed vegetables from aldi's are so good Sunday morning, I'm going to do biscuits. That means I'm going to air fry biscuits and put some kind of protein on them and then put them in a 9 by 13 and then take them. You can usually fit like 12 biscuits, 12 of that Sam's Club style Pillsbury, Pillsbury size biscuits from Sam's in a 9 by 13 with toppings on them. So that works. Beef and potato again for lunch, leftovers for dinner. Again, the only thing I'll have to do is make a note, please buy sauce for beef and potato. Monday, because he only has three work days, he's going to do the snack boxes back to back. And then he'll have like one extra one for the weekend if he wants. Um, I'm still going to make one thing of homemade oatmeal for that week. It's going to be strawberry flavored. That one's super easy. Make your oats and then just add strawberry preserves. It's easy because it already has sugar in it. Add a little bit more if you think you need it. Um, for a little bit different, we're going to do salad for Monday lunch. I and mean, when I say salad, I'm going to pick up one of the to-go salads from Aldi's for his lunch. Nuts, cheese, and fruit is one of our favorite, like, finger food things for lunches for around here for us, for the kids. I buy a big thing of cashews, uh, again, the cheese cubes, and then the fruit. I usually pick up, like, a pack of the dried fruit from Aldi's. 
and because it's Thanksgiving week, I'm either going to pick up pizzas from um, Little Caesars or I'm going to see what coupons I have for frozen pizzas and then we'll also do salad for that week. So let me also preface that this week and this week are all purchased right here because this is a holiday weekend. I don't want to go grocery shopping when I have four days at home with my family. So this Friday, I'm not shopping. So both of these two weeks right here are gonna be on one shopping list. So except for Thanksgiving food, all the fresh stuff is gonna be on this Friday to Wednesday. And I wanted to preface that before I get down here because it's a little bit different. So I try to do as much fresh here. So we're gonna do salad for the um, Monday night before the Monday night service, Tuesday again, snack box. Biscuits or bread from freezer. Again, they're doing the baking day here. Whatever baked goods we still have left over from that, if they're not frozen, we'll do that. Or if we don't have any that they wanna do, or if we end up not getting to do this baking day, then this will become um, frozen biscuits from Sam's. Bento box, we're probably, that means the girls and I are gonna be having this again. Um, we just keep it changed up though. We just do different cheese and fruit, or some of them are fine doing it back to back, it's fine. Um, fry bologna grilled cheese was something Matt introduced me to. It's something we don't do a lot of because again, it's a bologna and then you fry it and then you put it on a grilled or you put it on the cheese while the cheese is melting on a grilled cheese. It's something we don't do a lot, but it's one of Matt's favorites that he grew up with. So we're going to be doing it that week for uh, Thanksgiving week and then we'll do soup with it. Wednesday and this week, um, we are not doing like school. We're doing school, but we're not doing school complicated whole nother video um but this day on wednesday we are leaving the house so matt is getting insta i know i i know i said not to do this i'm gonna figure this out i might end up moving bento box to here and ramen up to here for him i don't know we'll see actually let's do that this is how we roll people is i just kind of fill everything in and type it as we go um okay and that also spreads that out for him hello let's type And my voice is starting to get hoarse, so I'm glad we're like almost there. Um, all right, so instant oatmeal. Everybody's doing instant oatmeal. Matt's getting this. We are doing this. Not saying because children are in the other room. This is our plan for Wednesday. And then we have a family tradition of before the holiday, we want something. We wanted something different. And it started with my Nana. She used to do this. I don't think she did it specifically before holiday days. But because I buy lasagna frozen, it makes such a super easy meal. I can put it in the oven while Matt and I are looking at the timesheets, the recipes, the ingredients, make sure we don't need to make like a super late last minute trip to the grocery store on Wednesday night. So we started doing lasagna years ago. I think, I don't even know if it was before I moved in here or not, within the past nine years. We started doing lasagna every time there's a holiday, like a cold holiday, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. So this year, day before Thanksgiving, lasagna, salad and then we also buy garlic bread to go with it and that way like i said it's a hot meal it's something different we don't normally have and it's kind of like our way of saying uh we're starting the holidays it's like that night before holidays but you're starting the holidays kind of thing so we love it again another tradition we have is cinnamon rolls we always have had a tradition of like on holiday mornings we do cinnamon rolls so we're gonna do cinnamon rolls mandy's and then coffee and cider. The reason why I went ahead and put coffee, and you'll see more of that, that like right here, is so I know that number one, before Thanksgiving, we need to make sure we have plenty of cure K-Pods, um, whether we're hosting or not. And then number two, coffee creamer. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll forget coffee creamer in the midst of getting all the last minute Thanksgiving stuff. Thanksgiving spread, again, that's going to be on a different timesheet. <laughs> Dinner and dessert, yes. It's whatever is left over, everybody's going to eat. The Friday after Thanksgiving, when we're home, if we are home, we start decorating for Christmas. It's just our day. Um, the kids have a special present that they get to open that kicks off the Christmas season. Um, they already knew that was going to happen because they did that last year. But we start the day with a special Christmas present. And then I have leftover pie. So we have like this fruit pie we make for the holidays. And if we have any leftover, it becomes their breakfast. It's just like a fun holiday thing. It's, we just, We only do it at the holidays. So 
we're gonna have leftover pie. I also have hot chocolate to remind myself, check for hot chocolate pods. Same for milk. I forget to buy, I'll remember to buy milk for just cooking, but I forget like the kids love to drink milk. So I need to get milk for the kids. Again, check in the coffee. The peppermint mocha coffee creamer was to remind myself like set. So Thursday, I like to finish off all the pumpkin spice, the cider, but then Friday morning, we're doing that Christmas decorating. I want that peppermint mocha coffee creamer. I want the eggnog. I want to just like full blown kick off the Christmas holiday season. So that's why I went ahead and put peppermint mocha coffee creamer, normal coffee creamer, because Matt likes peppermint mocha, but he also likes to have some for the non. Like we have the, we already have a box of the dark chocolate hazelnut coffee. So good. Get it before it sells out because they never restock it during Christmas. Um, and like we like the uh, cold stone creamer to go with that. Um, eggnog and then I also have one that is lactose intolerant but all these sells um, almond eggnog and oat milk eggnog um, so that's for her and then supplies for drink station Christmas drink station um, I usually do like little things of candy and each person every day can have like one candy off of it or I do like candy canes they can stir their hot chocolate with sometimes we get chocolate spoons to stir whatever I can find to get with that another tradition we have is even if we end up cooking a Thanksgiving dinner at home, um, sometime over the weekend, Matt makes these amazing leftover turkey day sandwiches. And before I even knew of places like Route 66 that has a restaurant that specializes in this, um, Matt introduced me to leftover turkey day sandwiches. So we're gonna do leftover turkey, and, and he, he, it's, it's just like his thing. We decorate the tree. Um, because where he works in insulation, he actually can't get close to the artificial trees or like his arm will look like he has hives. So it's just become our thing. He'll help put the ornaments on and helps whoever is turning is put the tree topper on to do it. But like I put the lights on the tree and while I'm doing that, he makes the leftover turkey day sandwiches. It works out really well. It's just kind of like our balance thing. So he's going to do the leftover turkey day sandwiches. And again, that rolls back into the next week. So how do we do a week where we buy for two weeks at a time? So you can see through the holidays for lunches and dinners, it says leftovers or freezer meals. What I do is I go ahead and buy slowly through the month of September, October, I buy like freezer meals. Like right now I have enough stuff to make it like burgers on garlic toast in there. Um, I have like bags of popcorn chicken. I have, um, I think I have extra pizza or lasagna. Freezer meals like that. So if we somehow either A, don't cook a Thanksgiving dinner at home or B, somehow run out of leftovers, there's freezer meals to get us through that whole weekend without us having to take time away from family to go to the grocery store on Black Friday. So, so on Saturdays it says bagels. Bagels will actually hold longer in the winter and you can freeze them. So bagels work out really well. Sunday I'm going to do cinnamon rolls for the Sunday school class because why not? And then this one will look a little bit different. A little less frozen or fresh food except for like hard-boiled eggs and cheese. So the nuts, dried fruit, that's something that's shelf-stable. Oatmeal, we'll probably do instant oatmeal. Ramen, pretty shelf-stable. Um, oh, that's us with oatmeal, so we're good. And then like peanut butter and banana, I can freeze ahead of time. And we can either freeze them on our tortilla or freeze them on a sandwich, and then we thaw them out. And Matt hasn't had any problems with those for work. So we'll probably do, and he loves peanut butter and jelly. So um, peanut butter and bananas will be something we'll do for breakfast that day. And then instead for lunch, we'll do uh, a nut box. The reason why it says boiled eggs there, so I will make myself reminders of, hey, this is coming up, you need to do it. So I have boiled eggs on here to remind myself that Wednesday morning we're having hard-boiled eggs. Nut boxes, again, cashews um, or whatever nut we have, a cheese, a dried fruit, or a vegetable. Whatever I have to assemble with nut as the protein, go for it. And then, uh, again, so remind myself Tuesday to do the eggs, hard-boiled eggs and cheese for lunch. Um, and then, again, it's I know it's a repeat, but it's meat and cheese. Um, I may switch those for him and do a nut box for uh, Wednesday and a um, meat and cheese for Tuesday. So I may swap those for him, and I'm, but that's going to be a lot of work, so I'm going to type that out later. But that way he's not having nuts back and forth and then uh, meat, meaty proteins back and forth and then the kids and I will be doing ramen whenever he's doing that and then Thursday biscuits um sometimes I can send him cold biscuits if he wants something else I'll put it in there that's kind of a filler space for now if he wants another peanut butter and jelly sandwich whatever just filler the kids and I'll be having homemade snickerdoodle oatmeal um I have I'll 
put that in the thing below. Anyway, so, and then PB&J for lunch. Again, a lot of this is like, just, you know, not like fresh things. And it's a lot of back and forth, or, you know, back to back like this. For us, it's not as major of a deal, so it's okay. And then beef jerky, dried fruit and cheese is something pretty self stable. Protein bars are something we keep on hand for travel days. And um, it's super easy to grab and go. And then Matt will be having me and whatever cheese is left over or whatever I can assemble together from like the dried section of our pantry and fridge. And then the kids and I will be having canned soup that I'll have like set aside for that. And then we'll also be going shopping on this day. And again, so let's go through dinners. Again, leftovers until Monday. So Monday, I'm going to do pizza and steamed vegetable because I want to, again, we still have, it's our last Monday of November. We're going to have church that day. I do have grocery shopping and trash day there. So if I need to go grocery shopping, I'll take care of it there. If I feel like I need to take trash off, I'm allowing myself time to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to get back into schedule, but it is there if I need it. Um, so I have pizza and steamed vegetable probably going to do frozen pizzas if I can fit them in the freezer for Thanksgiving week. That's where they're going to go. Tuesday, we'll do chicken enchiladas. Again, because we buy our chicken frozen from um, Sam's Club. And I know it's chicken like right after days and days of turkey, but this is still different. It's chicken enchiladas. Um, and if that's a big to do, then we'll just do the beef enchiladas, but I can only do the green sauce. The red sauce has too much acidicity to it. So, um, we'll just do enchiladas there or we'll just do talk ta like walking tacos or something like that. Wednesday, the teens want to make omelets and then Thursday because we have choir rehearsal that night leading up to our Christmas special the upcoming weekend. Um, I'm going to do hash brown casserole because it can be baking while we're getting ready. And that is it for November. I know, like I said, there's a lot of explaining, because, but these videos are to show people and give people food ideas who already know how to meal plan. But they're also for people who've never meal planned before in their life. I know so many girls that grew up with my girls that have no idea how to do meal planning and now they're like living on their own or they're just married and they're like, what do we do? How do you do it? So that's why I do these videos. And I mean, my kids are fixing to go off to college in a couple of years. I want them to be able to look back on these videos if they help them as well and be able to say, hey, how did mom do it? And so I wanted to show these videos to show you how to do that and how to coincide like your calendar. And like I said a couple of times, like I won't show my um, budget. I may make like a fake budget one day and show you how we do that line by line, but I don't want to show like our actual budget. That just feels like too personal for me. Um, but like I said, I have two, I have dual screens because um, the kids do virtual school. So sometimes they can be doing virtual school over here while I have the video editing over here. So that way I can see both at the same time. Um, and I will look side by side and say, okay, this week we have a little bit more. Let's do not eat out, but still super easy foods. Um, so just, I wanted to take you through that process. It's a little bit longer video, but I'm only going to be doing these one video each and every single month of the meal planning. And then we will do this again for the month of December and the month of January at least because I have those written out. And then each week on Tuesdays, you will see all these and... Hopefully also on Wednesdays you will see Sam's Club. But that's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have any comments, suggestions, and if this helped you at all. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time.